right, today, right, the video I'm filming today, I personally find quite mad, right? Because I feel like I've been on a journey with this shop and I actually feel like the whole popul the girl population of Scotland is going to be able to relate to this journey. I mean, I don't know about the rest of the UK, like I actually just don't know how things roll elsewhere, but for Scotland, this one you'll certainly relate to. So this shop, before I reveal the name, actually I've just realised that you'll see it in the title and the thumbnail. There's just literally no point in me keeping that a secret. So today's Cloven haul is going to be with Quiz Cloven. And I just find it quite mad, because, and I'm going to tell you why. It's like my journey with Quiz. I was in like primary seven and going into like high school and the first year sort of thing. Quiz was like the place to get your uniform. I'd be so upset if like my mum would dare try and get me a skirt out like Marks and Spencers. I was like, Mum, seriously, you need you need to be going to Quiz. If you're going into high school, like, that was what the like cool thing was to do. It was amazing for your bandage skirt that everyone would wear like so high waisted, so it became so so short. Your knee high socks with like the neon pink bow on the side. And the blouses with like a really puff shoulder, and then a wee tank top from Quiz. That was that was literally what everyone in like first to third year looked like in my high school and I think pretty much everywhere else. Yeah, I absolutely loved quiz at that point in time and also at that point in time is when I started going to like unders, like underage dancing and I I can't believe that was a thing and um, I can't believe I partook in that. But I loved it at the time um, and that's where I'd buy like my night out outfit for then. Always some like crazy patterned like thing up here and then it would turn into one of those bandage skirts again. Really moral of the story is I absolutely loved a bandage skirt from Quiz. But then as the years went on and I became like a late teen where everyone was like oh my god who even shops in Quiz anymore. And that's just how things went to be brutally honest about Quiz. But now like in the past year or so literally as I've just started <coughs> 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 Well, I looked on pure thin air. <coughs> Ow. Oh. Anyway, um, as the past like kind of year, as I went into blogging and stuff, and met some of the girls that work for a Quiz, and then started attending like Quiz events and working with Quiz, I realised like they've actually upped their game like on a whole different level. Like they've done a full 180. Like they went from being not so great to like really really great again like doing like good collabs like with the likes of Sam Fares who I absolutely adore Sam Fares and she dresses so so nice so yes Quiz has really turned himself around for the better and today I'm going to be doing a Quiz clothing haul and I actually love all these items which I wouldn't have said a few years ago but yeah that was so brutally honest but, but I'm just actually trying to explain to you like how good quiz now is. I've got a bunch of items here that I'm going to go through with you. It is like sadly becoming like August, eh, becoming, what's that word? Autumn. Becoming autumn and winter. I'm excited over that. Personally no, I much prefer summer. I like going on summer holidays and a big factor of that to me is no more tan for me. It's time to go back to fake tan. Right now I feel so white because I've not been using sunbeds or anything trying to just wean myself back into the natural pale life and I'm going to start tanning as of next week which means I'll probably get loads of hate for blackfishing like I did last year but <laughs> um, so yeah it's now autumn winter time so I've picked a bunch of items that are less summery and more fitting to the time of the year that it is I'm going to show you them all and as usual I will tell you how I'll style them and then we'll jump in to trying them on this is a little denim play suit I mean this okay this is still quite still quite summery but I could dress it like autumn -y as well the shorts got this little um buckle belt detail zips right up and the zip and buckle is all gold so this is like a proper dark denim colour which I never used to be a fan of but as time going on I am starting to like it a lot more. So this would be really cute with bare legs and like a pair of boots or a chunky pair of trainers but obviously with it, the colder weather starting to settle in. You could also put on like a cute wee pair of tights so you could wear like wee polka dot tights. 
I think that would be really cute and then like a nice pair of chunky boots, probably my Doc Martens. More make it a more autumn look which would be really cute. Cute and casual that one, it would be nice for going out for like a wee lunch or a wee coffee date. Which no one goes on coffee dates with me. I love coffee, like I really enjoy coffee, I love like hot chocolate, I love anything like that. But Callum doesn't, so we don't like go on coffee dates which is a pure shame. But sometimes we my mum will but we just never have the free time, this is such relevant information. Okay so next item is something actually very very different from what I'd normally wear. But I just had like a vision and the items that I'm going to pair with it. Like a little kind of animal print, like dalmatian print I suppose. A shirt dress, it's got a wee bit that you can tie around your waist. Uh, this is like a really tan colour with little black spots all over it. So this on its own, I wouldn't really ever pick up you know, with like these other items that I'm going to pair it with. And then I thought, hmm, this will be really cute. Wear with bare legs. Um, I also picked this wee hat as an accessory. So this is a fedora hat. Oh my god, why? Oh my god, why do I look like Bradley Cooper from A Star Is Born? But people make these look cool. Why? Why did I just not suit this? Oh. Maybe it'll look better with the whole outfit on. But yeah, I picked one of these hats because I really, really like them and I see like loads of people pull them off at like this time of year. So far, I feel like I'm not pulling it off, but maybe, maybe I will. Am I wearing it the wrong way? Mm -mm. No, I don't think I am. Anyway. I'm going to wear this with this because it's like a perfect colour for matching. And I'm going to put on a wee black leather waistcoat that I've got so that's like you know when it doesn't have sleeves as you layer whatever that is. Be cute wee edgy vibe and I also picked a third item. So I'm literally doing three items in one here but yeah I picked these wee boots as well and these are a perfect like autumn winter staple. Mm -hmm. Staple. Can't go wrong with too many boots. I love like just wee black boots. I feel like you can shove them on with absolutely anything. These ones are so cute because they're a like crocodile print. Is that yeah? Is that that what you'd say? Crocodile print. Um, like the wee like detail over the toe and at the heel, uh, and then just like wee silver eyelets and it has a zip. Easy access. I really, really like these wee boots. Literally, like any kind of dress, skirt, short, like anything with your legs out in a wee boot, I really, really like. So, yeah, all three of these items I plan on wearing together, and I think that'll just make a really cute wee outfit. Just again, like a wee casual outfit going out shopping or, you know, what casual people do these days. So, next up, I picked this. Um, so this is a little dress and it's like royal blue colour and it's all kind of sequiny and it's like a kind of short to midi length and it's got this little high neck. So this is obviously like a really more going out outfit, I certainly wouldn't wear this casual like ever. Autumn winter coming up, there's going to be loads of like works nights out, all that shebang. It'd be really cute if you really dressed it up. I think if you wore this, it'd be nice to have like your hair all back, like a wee bun. Like, oh, that'd be cute. Like, I like this wee high neck, so I feel like a wee tight bun up at the top would be really, really cute. Then maybe a pair of earrings, but no like necklaces or anything. And then just a pair of like black strappy sandals. Really cute. It's quite a simple but not so simple look. Um, so yeah, I feel like that'd be really cute for like a nice wee works night out at Christmas time. Uh -huh. Next up we've got this which is probably one of my personal faves of the haul and this is a black jumpsuit, boiler suit, black boiler suit. So it's black denim with silver buttons and um, it's got a wee tie belt here and it's obviously full length so it's yeah it's a boiler suit. No, no way else to explain it. Personally I'd probably just button it right up to the top, I think that'd be really nice and put on a nice chunky pair of trainers. Um, I'd probably put on my black and pink Balenciagas and then use like a wee pink bag or something um, just to jazz it up a bit. A lot of people wear these like button down with like maybe a wee vest top or a wee bralette under it which is also a very cute look. Um, but yeah, perfect for the wearer coming up because it's got long sleeves and long legs and it's high necked so you will not be cold. 
Next up, I've got two items that I plan on wearing together, so I'm going to merge them into one. The first up is this little t-shirt. So this is just a basic black t-shirt with a little bit of print in the middle, which is all like silver and red, and an animal print on it. It's like a mix of tiger, zebra, leopard, I believe. Obviously, it's just like a good wee everyday item. You could wear this with anything. However, I'm pairing it up with this little dress to make a cute, but like a cute, smart casual outfit. This uh, this looks so nice here. Like, oh. yeah, you can see how nice that looks in here. Um, it does look pretty low cut, which is why I've decided to put a wee t-shirt under it. But you could certainly get away with wearing this on your own if you're looking for like a more of a going out outfit. Like quite a long skirt, so it's probably between like midi and maxi length. So different little layers to it, which is quite hard to see here, but I'm sure you'll see it better when it's on. And that print matches the print that's on the top, hence why I picked to wear them together. I'd shove on personally a pair of trainers with this either like my black Balenciagas or even like a wee pair of high top Converse I think would be really really cute with that and this would be great for like going out for like a wee day dress with your friends or something like that Um, yeah going out for dinner like it is a fancy outfit but it's like keeping it comfy that's it it's fancy but it's comfy and you don't need to worry about falling out anywhere and yeah I just feel like that's quite a funky cool wee number when you add a wee t-shirt under it I like it we've got this little dress so I've seen this in like a pale pastel pink colour it's part, part of Sam Ferris collection which I actually really 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 loved Sam Ferris collection the stuff was really really nice from that but yeah I really loved that dress and now they've released like the same style of dress but in darker colours so it's just a lot more fitting to like the time of year navy with like pale blue and pink flower detail Quite hard to see what this dress looks like off, but it is honestly so pretty on. Yeah, I cannot make this look normal here. Basically, it's cut out at the sides, and then it's got this nice detail on the back. So it's like all... <laughs> it's like all, like, as if it's tying over your back, which is really, really cute. Nice for, like, a wee family dinner, a wee, like, afternoon out. This and, like, a wee pair of boots. Um, maybe like a wee leather jacket over it, anything like that. Really, really cute. It's a cute wee girly number, but it's also quite like dark. Yeah. Okay, and finally, this is my favourite piece. It is so simple, but so pretty. This is like a little cowl neck um, midi satin bodycon dress. The colour of it is absolutely stunning. It's like a really bright fuchsia. Um, and the quality as well, like, you get the satin dresses and they're just shit, like genuinely shit, like really really thin, don't have any give to it, so like you need to buy like two sizes up if you've got a hope in hell of it fitting. It's just such great quality, it's so soft, it's got quite a lot of stretch to it, so you could definitely get away with your own size, which is always a bonus. Yeah, it just feels really really soft and really comfy. This obviously you could wear on its own for like a night out, a nice pair of heels, a cute wee handbag but for me I have in my head that I want to pop on a wee t-shirt underneath this. I got a new pair of Air Force recently. Air Force Jesters are like the coolest shoes and they're probably like my favourite shoes ever. I've got like three pairs of them. They just are, they're just really really funky and affordable which is great. And recently in their white with like this colour of tick. So I'm thinking I'm going to wear this with like a wee t-shirt underneath and those trainers and again that's like a really smart casual outfit which would be really cute for like going out with your friends during the day for drinks, cocktails, you name it, you can wear this to it. Just really really obsessed with this colour, very cute, very fancy. Okay so that's all of the items that I've selected from Quiz. Um, obviously we'll try them all on so you can get a real feel for them. If you happen to like anything from my selections or anything site wide, I have a discount code and that's just Megan15 and that will save you some dollar bills.
to just have like the most me moment ever um, and I've burst this strap because I put the dress on wrong so you're actually meant to zip it down here and like step into it and pull it up but I just like forced it over my head so I didn't see the zip and I've just snapped that off which was 110% my fault if I put the dress on right that certainly wouldn't have happened but anyway I'm still going to show you on I'm going to get on mum to sew this as well so I can actually wear it because it's so nice um, but yeah ignore the strap please 